Hey guys, uh, today I, in this video I'll be showing you how to export a FPS animated uh, handset to Unity and how to use it inside Unity as well. And um, I've been getting heaps of questions and stuff about this, so uh, you know, decided to make one. And uh, yeah, so I'll get straight into it. So basically, all you do is uh, in Blender, make sure your rig can uh, control everything, and uh, or you got all the animations and stuff ready. Um, you know, all the ones you need. So here I've got uh, the idle, the pull up, the reload, the shooting and stuff. So uh, I can use all those. And um, so first of all, you're going to press A twice, or press A until everything's selected. Uh, go file, export. Um, you can use FBX or OBJ. I use FBX just because I'm used to it. And uh, what you want to do is find the uh, file where you your Unity uh, uh, like prefabs are. So I'm gonna create a new one, create a new file called prefabs, and uh, UMP45. I'll just call it UMP45, and you want to export it. And while it exports, you can click into Unity, and here I have a new project. So this is this is I just opened a new project, so it's easier to follow along. So it takes a while to import, that, that comes up and it's working fine, it's working perfect. And uh, I've got my prefabs folder here, double click it and I've got my UMP45. So, um, when you import it, and you have to click on it, and it comes up with all this stuff here. So for FPS rigs, you want to go to rig and change the animation type to legacy. And keep that stored root at uh, new. Apply it. So I think what that does is um, is it makes it kind of force the animations to play. Like it just plays it no matter what. So if you call it, then it will play. So uh, I'm gonna show you here. So I'm gonna go main my main camera. I'll just put the gun uh, <clears throat> under the main camera. And oh geez, okay. So that's so this is my camera view here. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, there it is. So. I'm going to position my gun just like this. That should be good enough. I don't really mind where it is. And uh, main camera, set the plank to uh, yeah. 0 0.01. And uh, move that. Here we are. So I'm going to delete this. Hide that. Sorry. Okay, so. Um. Now you want to click on the prefab once it's under the main camera, and there should be something here, animation. And if you have all the animations done properly, then they should be here. If they aren't, click on here, uh, click on your prefab, go to animation, and um, just click the plus button. And and then uh, once you click the plus button, and you you're on the animation looking you're looking for. Is not there, you want to click default take here and find it. It will be there if you imported it correctly. So I don't need that. And um, one thing you need to uh, remember is I'm going to it. Is uh, I'm going to play the reload animation on startup, and uh, I'm going to do that by clicking play automatically. So if I play it right now, um, you can see like. The, um, uh, I don't know if it's really hard. No, easy. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, my English. Yeah, it's not really noticeable. But sometimes you might have animation, and it's not really. Like your hand, the hands might shake a bit, and things like that. And basically, to prevent this, you want to go to your prefab. So, uh, UP45, and you want to set the wrap mode. Oh no, the animation compression to off, and this just makes the animation a lot more fluent and, um, I don't know, less jittery, so you want to apply that. So, I th yeah, that should be better, it's, it's really easy, it's not difficult. So now if I click play, there we go, it's a lot better. Um, and uh, if you want to maybe walk around and stuff and you want to pull out a gun and you just set that to 
play automatically and it'll play. Um, what else can I talk about? Sorry about that. Um, make sure your import animations checked. Rig is set to legacy model. All this, you don't have to change any of this. Um, I think. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, and then you can apply the textures by just clicking on the parts individually, and um, yeah, so, uh, if, if you have any problems at all, I will always reply, um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching, if this helped you, uh, please press like, I guess, and uh, subscribing really means a lot to me as well, um, and yeah, thank you so much. And I will make some more stuff. <laughs>